Hi everybody, a very good morning or a very good afternoon and as we are now in the midst of World Cup soccer or football as we call it, so we are very busy usually in the evening and late into the night. I myself am a great fan of football, so I am also tied up and uh, just to let you know, each of us have a favorite team like Brazil, Argentina, etc. Well, for me, for this World Cup, my favorite teams, um, should I say? Uh, okay, no harm. Uh, Amar Priyodol, my favorite team for this 2022 World Cup are England, Spain, Japan, and of course, Spain. Okay. Now, um, because of the World Cup fever, I'm just going to make something very short for you today, okay? I'm just going to, you know, tell you all uh, about names of, you know, the family name of certain creatures, as we call it. Like, what family they belong to. But Jeep Jontu ba, you know, Oshupaki ba, Jibito kono, they all have a name. So I'm just going to quickly give you. There are many and many and many, but I don't want to go into the details of all. Just some important ones. But do keep a note. Remember them. They'll be useful for you. Okay? Um, I just wanted to also mention one thing. That when I uh, give my uh, talks, the video talks, I'm here primarily trying to make you people uh, you know, become a bit fluent in speaking English and speaking it the correct way to improve your communication skills. And a fifth, or shall I say more than that, 60% of that comes from listening skills, your listening skills. That is what is going to be very important. But of course, you must listen to people who themselves speak correctly and with the correct accent and pronunciation. I'm not saying that speak, uh, listen to me only. Listen to anybody who speaks correctly. See films which have good English. That is the way you will improve. Okay? I'm not going to tell you listen to me only. I'm not like what many of these doctors will tell you. Yes, you go to this clinic for these tests. So there's no commission matter here. Anyway, that's a different issue. So do listen to what I'm telling you right now. Uh, and try to uh, imbibe that. I'm not here to be uh, just sitting and teaching you grammar. I'm not going to hear, uh, I'm not here to make you professors of grammar. All right. That is important. That will fall in the side. See, if you pick up good English and learn how to speak correctly by listening properly, it's a matter of practice. You will automatically speak correctly. All right. So anyway, let's get along with it. Number one, bovine creature. B-O-V-I-N-E, B-O-V-I-N-E, bovine creatures. Which creatures belong here? Cows, buffaloes, bulls. These are members of the bovine family. All right. Then we have something called rodents, R-O-D-E-N-T-S, rodents, the rodent family. These are rats, mouse or mice, bandicoots. Bandicoots are those big, big rats that you get in the agricultural fields and paddy fields and all that. Heraid or in Bengali, as we call it. All right. Then you get muskrats, all these things. Chucho, that is basically muskrats. They all belong to the rodent family. R-O-D-E-N-T. Keep that in mind. So we have the bovine creatures and we have the rodent family. Now we have... Another group of creatures, another group containing certain creatures, which are which belong to what is known as a reptile family. R-E-P-T-I-L-E. -E, reptile family. What are they? Here we have snakes, we have lizards, we have crocodiles, alligators, monitors, all these kind of things. They all belong to the reptile family. Right? Keep that in mind. And then we have what is also known as feline creatures, F-E-L-I-N-E, 
feline creatures. What are they? Hmm. We have tigers, lions, leopards, cheetahs, and our very own domestic cats. They all belong to the feline family. All right? Now, there are many, but I said I'm not going to so many of them. And then we also have another lot that is called the equine family. E-Q-U-I-N-E. E-Q-U-I-N-E. Who all belong to the equine family? Well, horses, donkeys, mills, etc. They're all members of the equine family. Right? So basically, we have the rodent family. The bovine family, the reptile family, feline creatures, and do remember the equine family. The bovine family, the cows, etc., uh, they come uh, basically bovine. This word comes from uh, another word, bostorus. But anyway, all of them have different meanings, but don't go into all those details and complexities and all, it will confuse you more. Just remember the basics. That is all that is required. All right. So do remember these. They will be very helpful to you in the long run. And as I said, if you do have any questions of any kind, do put it in the comments box and I will personally get back to you. And my dear friends and well wishers, as I keep saying, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, please do so because it is with your support that we have been successful in our journey so far and do put a like and of course a comment will always be loved. Enjoy the World Cup and may the best team win. Finally, let sports win. Bye-bye.